tell the American people why they should elect you to be the next president. This is another new mini segment. Secretary Clinton, it's your turn to go first. Well, I would like to um, say to everyone watching tonight uh, that I'm reaching out to all Americans, Democrats, Republicans, and independents, because we need everybody to help make our country what it should be, to grow the economy, to make it fairer, to make it work for everyone. We need your talents, your skills, your commitment, your energy, your ambition. You know, I've been privileged to see the presidency up close, and I know the awesome responsibility of protecting our country and the incredible opportunity of working to try to make life better for all of you. I have made the cause of children and families uh, really my life's work. That's what my mission will be in the presidency. I will stand up for families against powerful interests, against corporations. I will do everything that I can to make sure that you have good jobs with rising incomes, that your kids have good educations from preschool through college. I hope you will give me a chance to serve as your president. Secretary Clinton, thank you. Mr. Trump? She's raising the money from the people she wants to control. It doesn't work that way. But when I started this campaign, I started it very strongly. It's called Make America Great Again. We're going to make America great. We have a depleted military. It has to be helped, has to be fixed. We have the greatest people on Earth in our military. We don't take care of our veterans. We take care of illegal immigrants, people that come into the country illegally better than we take care of our vets. That can't happen. Our policemen and women are disrespected. We need law and order, but we need justice, too. Our inner cities are a disaster. You get shot walking to the store. They have no education. They have no jobs. I will do more for African Americans and Latinos than she can ever do in 10 lifetimes. All she's done is talk to the African Americans and to the Latinos. But they get the vote, and then they come back. They say, we'll see you in four years. We are going to make America strong again, and we are going to make America great again, and it has to start now. We cannot take four more years of Barack Obama, and that's what you get when you get her. We have to have strong borders. We have to keep the drugs out of our country. We are, right now, we're getting the drugs, they're getting the cash. We need strong borders. We need absolute, we cannot give amnesty. Now, I want to build the wall. We need the wall. The Border Patrol, ICE, they all want the wall. We stop the drugs. We, sh we shore up the border. One of my first acts will be to get all of the drug lords, all of the bad ones. We have some bad, bad people in this country that have to go out. We're going to get them out. We're going to secure the border. And once the border is secured, at a later date, we'll make a determination as to the rest. But we have some bad hombres here, and we're going to get them out. I would hope that the Senate would do its job and confirm the nominee that President Obama has sent to them. That's the way the Constitution fundamentally should operate. There's no doubt that I respect the Second Amendment, that I also believe there's an individual right to bear arms. That is not in conflict with sensible, common-sense regulation. The justices that I'm going to appoint will be pro-life. They will have a conservative bent. Uh, they will be protecting the Second Amendment. She's been doing this for 30 years. Why the hell didn't you do it over the last 15, 20 years? You, you know, were very much involved. Excuse me. My turn. You were very much involved in every aspect of this country. Very much. And you do have experience. I say the one thing you have over me is experience, but it's bad experience because what you've done has turned out badly. For 30 years, you've been in a position to help. And if you say that I use steel or I use something else, I make it impossible for me to do that. I wouldn't mind. The problem is you talk, but you don't get anything done, Hillary. You don't. Just like when you ran the State Department, $6 billion was missing. How do you miss $6 billion? You ran the State Department, $6 billion was either stolen, they don't know. It's gone. $6 billion. If you become president, this country is going to be in some mess, believe me. Our national debt is a share of the economy. Our GDP is now 77 percent. That's the highest since just after World War II. But the nonpartisan committee for a responsible federal budget says, Secretary Clinton, under your plan, debt would rise to 86 percent of GDP over the next 10 years. Mr. Trump, under your plan, they say it would rise to 105 percent of GDP over the next 10 years. Question is, 
Why are both of you ignoring this problem? Mr. Trump, you go first. Well, I say they're wrong because I'm going to create tremendous jobs. And we're bringing GDP from really 1%, which is what it is now. And if she got in, it'll be less than zero. But I'm going to create a the kind of a country that we were from the standpoint of industry. We used to be there. We've given it up. We've become very, very sloppy. We've had people that are political hacks making the biggest deals in the world, bigger than companies. You take these big companies, these trade deals are far bigger than these companies. When I, when I hear Donald talk like that and know that his slogan is make America great again, I wonder when he thought America was great. Uh, and before uh, he uh, rushes and says, you know, before you and President Obama were there, I think it's important to recognize that he has been criticizing um, our government for decades. But if you look at the debt, which is the issue you asked about, Chris, I pay for everything I'm proposing. I do not add a penny to the national debt. I take that very seriously because I do think it's one of the issues we've got to come to grips with. Thank you, Hillary. I, Could I just respond? Well, no. Well, no because sorry, I because did we're running disagree out of time. with Ronald Reagan very strongly on trade. I disagreed with him. We should have been much tougher on trade even then. I've been waiting for years. Nobody okay. does it right. And frankly, now we're going to do it right. All right. Nine women have come forward and said that you either groped them or kissed them without their consent. I would say the only way, because those stories are all totally false. I have to say that. And I didn't even apologize to my wife, who's sitting right here, because I didn't do anything. I didn't know any of these women. I didn't see these women. These women, I think they want either fame or her campaign did it. He held a number of big rallies where he said that he could not possibly have done uh, those things to those women because they were not attractive enough for I, I did uh, not them say to that. be assaulted. I did not say that. In fact, he went on but, to say... But he, did he, not he, say that. It's her two minutes. Donald thinks belittling women makes him bigger. He goes after their dignity, their self-worth, and I don't think there is a woman anywhere who doesn't know what that feels like. Nobody has more respect for women than I do. Nobody. My Social Security payroll contribution will go up, as will Donald's, assuming he can't figure out how to get out of it. Uh, but what we want to do is to replenish the Social Such Security a Trust woman. Fund by making sure that we have sufficient resources. And that will come from either raising the cap and or finding other ways to get more money into it. Do you make the same commitment that you will absolutely, sir, that you will absolutely accept the result of this election? I will look at it at the time. I'm not looking at anything now. I'll look at it at the time. She should not be allowed to run. And just in that respect, I say it's rigged. Well, okay? Chris, let me respond to that because that's horrifying. I, there was even a time when he didn't get an Emmy for his TV program three years in a row, and he started tweeting that the Emmys were rigged against Should have gotten it. This is, this is how Donald thinks. And it's funny, but it's also really troubling. He Secretary, says, would have gained now, if they did it by Secretary, surprise. please let Mr. Trump's, Trump's face. He's unfit, and he proves it every no, time You he are talks. the one that's unfit. The Russian government has engaged in espionage. This has come from the highest levels of the Russian government, clearly from Putin himself. I don't know Putin. He said nice things about me. If we got along well, that would be good. Well, that's because he'd rather have a puppet as president of no the United puppet. States. No puppet, no puppet. It's pretty clear. You're the puppet. It's pretty clear you won't admit no, you're that the, the Russians have engaged. She China. has no so idea whether it's Russia, China, or anybody else. I am else. not quoting myself. No 